So the first thing that you want to do is you want to sign up and make sure your preferences are all in English before you begin and go to sign up. When you're here, you'll put in your name, your birthday, your gender, um, and you'll also create an email account, username, and a password. Um, for example, if you have a business, what you could do is you could put, you know, incubator, and maybe it's Keisha now. So that way, you would have your name uh, as your profile, and this is all free to do. So it'll allow you to create um, a free account. And I can show you exactly what we did um, in Leova with our business incubator. So we created an account, and here's our page. So what you can first do is you'll enter into your page. This will be you know, what it looks like to set up your pictures, um, people popping in notifications just like on Facebook, and this will allow you to, you know, to navigate everything that you can do within this platform. So if you don't have any friends and it's your first time creating a page, you'll want to go to the search bar. And if you know people in specific within your community that you believe are perfect for your business or institution, you can type in their name here. If you are not as sure, what you can do is use the search criteria on the right-hand side. So for the business incubator, we might choose you know, a neutral sex. We would target um, a demographic from 22 to 40 um, looking for... You know, anywhere from recent grads to people that might still be interested in starting businesses um, in their hometown. And we will also click on Leova Moldova as the city that we'd like to search with them. Um, because of the fact that we have an established profile, we have a bunch of friends already uh, listed below. But if we didn't, uh, one tip that I would provide is, you know, pick a common name within your demographic and within your town and begin searching. What you'll see is friends will start to pop up that have that same name, but you may also um, run into you know good candidates that you know could work at your incubator or work at your institution. You know, 20, 243 uh, people um, are friends with with this other Sasha. So um, you know what you can do is you can friend these people um, that live in your town and you know expose them to you know the great things that you'll be doing you know with your organization. Furthermore, once you have friends, what you can do is you can go to the guest list. And here, um, you'll not only see a list of all of your friends, but you'll also see the people that have been interacting with your page. Um, that could be entering your page, writing you a comment, uh, liking you know, a certain picture that you may have posted. And what's great about this is it'll show you all of the friends that have been entering your page. Um, and it will show you the times um, and dates of which they're entering the page, which will help to keep you organized and give you insight on when is the best time to make a posting. Furthermore, you can engage uh, with these people. So you can click on their profiles. You may go to their picture and say, you know, that's a cool, that's a cool looking picture. And, you know, give them a five and say, you know, uh, um, bravo, or, you know, I like your picture. And, you know, that'll just help to um, you know, make people feel comfortable with you and, and, and likewise, maybe they'll send you a message back and that'll start a conversation uh, for you and your business. Uh, furthermore, you can keep track of the people that have inter interacted with you. So, uh, you know, we just posted a, uh, a new posting about a Creative Business Cup in Moldova that's taking place, um, you know, offering $100,000 um, as a prize for the best business uh, that emerges from this competition. So, automatically, you know, we'll get people that, you know, like those posts or maybe they'll comment or, you know, write a personal message. And, you know, this kind of just keeps track of the people that are, are liking your content, which is very, very uh, advantageous for you as a business. Uh, furthermore, you can look at your no notifications. So if you have posted anything, a status, a picture, um, you know, if it's a photo, you know, uh, for example, we had people that visit our incubator and, you know, people are saying, you know, I'm so glad to see all the great work that you're doing. Uh, somebody gave us a million thumbs up, flowers and, and dollar signs, that can't be bad. So we just said thank you uh, for, for entering and, and commenting. Furthermore, uh, somebody says, okay, you know, what are the conditions of this business cup? Uh, so for us, you know, uh, we can write this person a comment and, you know, get into a deeper conversation with that person which I can do at a later time. Um, furthermore, uh, the message box, 
is probably my favorite tool. Um, it will show you when people are online and who are engaging with you. So um, I won't go into some of these conversations, but you know, if these people are lighting up and they're on your bar and they've written you a message, then what you can do is you know just live live interaction you know live interaction with these great people and you know get messages across to them. Um, one of my favorite examples was Natalia um, had asked me about a seminar uh, that was taking place and. You know, just gave her a bunch of details, um, asked her for her email address. She gave us her email address, and, you know, we sent her the details uh, thereafter. So, uh, you know, it just helps you to keep in touch with the people that are interested in your business and your activities. And, you know, it makes people feel more close to you, feel, you know, they feel more comfortable with you. Um, and one thing I'll also add about messaging is I always like to put uh, my name um, next to the messages that I write. That way that... You know, it just makes the people that visit our page feel more comfortable with who they're talking to, and 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 they know me um, from the community, so it it definitely uh, puts a face to uh, to a to a name. I guess you could put it that way. Um, the last thing I'll show you is just how to add content. So um, just like on Facebook, we'll have a status box right here. You can type in anything you want. So um, the message that I recently sent out was, you know, a great opportunity and what I did was I took this clipping of the Creative Business Cup in Moldova I highlighted it I dropped it in and you know right away uh, the message popped up it is not being friendly at this moment there you go and I like to erase the ugly URL and then you can share it from here so if you click that button what will happen is the you know, the posting will show up on your page, you'll start to get comments, you'll start to get likes, and that's when you can begin interacting with the people that are, you know, engaging with you and your business. So um, that's a brief overview of Ode No Class and Key for Business. I hope you enjoyed, and send me any comments or questions that you may have. Thanks.